Okay, we're going to be looking at how to automatically assign permission sets or permission set groups and permission set licenses to users uh, when you set them up in the system. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here to setup. I'm starting in setup, but if you haven't, just click this setup um, gear over here. And if I go to flows, I'll be taken back into this flow area. So I'm going to set up uh, a flow here. And I'm going to create this as a record triggered flow. Once I'm on this screen, I'm going to say um, the object that I'm looking at is user. I only want this to fire when a record is created. Let's say you wanted to um, build a separate fro flow for maybe when people, if people are like changing profiles in your organization, you can do a lot of cool stuff here. Right now we're focusing on the use case of only when a record is created. And then we're gonna leave this on actions and related records, done. Um, so a lot of the use case or some of the reasons that you would want to do this before we get into it is, uh, you know, let's say your company is scaling really fast. You're having to add you know, 30, 40, 50 users at a time, maybe more, or maybe, you know, you're hiring at a, at a high pace every day, every other day. Uh, it becomes tedious to assign people all the different permission sets, um, maybe for permission set licenses if you're using different apps um, as you scale. Um, so what we're going to do is just assign these automatically when they're created, right? Um, so I've created the first criteria. Let's say now uh, I'm going to make a decision here and I'm going to say profile is, uh, or I'm just going to call this decision like, what is the user profile? You might want to do this for various types of users in the system, right? I'm going to come over here and since this is a test environment, I'm just going to see uh, what profile. So I'm a system administrator. Okay. So I'm going to say profile is system administrator. This is what I'm going to start with. So here I'm going to look at uh, the user record. I'm going to dig into the profile. And I'm going to use name here, not ID, uh, just because this is better to use. Uh, let's say you're uh, building in a sandbox or something like that. This can stay dynamic, where if you use an ID, um, you know, you can run into some issues. It's just harder to manage. Um, so right here, you can see the first one is like profiles system administrator. Great. So if I look at my own user here, I have the permission sets is experience profile manager. I also have a permission set group sales uh, PMG. I'm going to click into sales PMG. And I can see this is the ID from it, this permission set group up here. Uh, and it's actually just these characters. You don't want to copy the 2F. So I'm going to take this. And then here I'm going to say uh, I want to create records. So I'm going to say assign permission set permission set group to sysadmin. Great. Down here, I'm going to say use separate resources and literal values. That way, I can pick my object. And I'm going to say permission set assignment. So I'm going to create a permission set assignment. Down here, the only two fields that I have to pick are my assignee and my permission set group ID. If I was just using a general permission set, I would pick permission set. So for assignee, 
I'm going to come in here again. I'm going to look at my variables, my global variables. I'm going to use the current user that just got created. And I am going to use the ID field down here. I'm going to say permission set group ID. Um, so when you're building out a flow like this, maybe many different profiles are going to get the same uh, permission set group or permission set. So it's probably instead of a instead of just pasting the ID in here, which I can do, it's a good idea to create a resource. I'm going to create this as a constant. I'm going to say um, sales permission set group. Uh, I'm going to label this constant sales PSG. Now I can refer to this any other time I want to use it with maybe different parts of my flow. Boom. Um, and then one thing we want to do here is actually sometimes you'll have apps or permission set uh, licenses that need to be assigned first before you can assign the permission sets that are associated with them. So this is true for like high velocity sales, Salesforce maps, different things like that. So I actually went ahead in here and created the permission set group assignment. Uh, let's say I was dealing with one of these apps where they first needed to have the license. You want to make sure within the flow, the license is always getting assigned first. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to say create records again, and I'm going to say assign um, sales user license. So user license, same thing. Down here, I'm going to say license. And then you see you have a permission set license assignment. Same thing here. I'm going to pick the assignee. I'm going to go to my variable. Where's my ID? What am I doing? pick the user ID and down here I'm going to say permission set license ID now if I want to find the permission set license ID I can do this through an export or uh, I can come down here uh, I know I said sales user I'm just going to click CRM user since it's clickable right there copy my ID again don't copy the 2f Let's create a constant for this. And we're going to say CRM constant CRM license ID. So that way we know what it is. CRM license ID text. Boom. All right. So now we have a flow where we are checking a user profile assigning a license, uh, and then assigning a permission set group. Um, go ahead and name this. So I'm going to say record triggered flow, or just user assignment. And from here, you can turn on and uh, go ahead and start testing. Again, the most important thing here is if you've got dependent uh, licenses, uh, that you assign those first before you assign the permission sets. Good luck.